All right. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, I know I, I literally just remembered like this morning, um, but I completely forgot to remind you guys about what we talked about last week with the um, with the um, with making, uh, you know, like case studies and we can review them. And pretty much instead of me explaining whatever you sent me that you think is wrong, you send me what you think is right. And pretty much um, your own little case study that you show here on Zoom and we talk about it. Uh, I completely forgot about that. I, just, I had two exams this week, had one last week. Um, but luckily, I'm good with exams for like the next couple of weeks. So I can actually dedicate more time to this. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, I'll probably make an announcement after the Zoom today. Um, but just for the people right now and the people watching the recording um, will be if you can, if you want, it doesn't really matter. Right? It's uh, if you want to essentially <clears throat> show your own little case study or show, um, uh, you know, basically a recognition per se, uh, whether it's in PDF, whether it's in a bunch of screenshots, it doesn't really matter. Um, I won't be picky about that. But if you guys want to show them and we want to review them on Zoom, then you know, by all means, go ahead. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started. First thing I want to point out, right, is, I mean, the original direction hasn't really changed after, you know, the change of sentiment being obviously here with the momentum increase that actually takes out the previous uh, medium term lower high, which the medium term lower high was based on the previous high low retracement that we had pretty much pointed out last week um so now we had pretty much wanted to see what would happen inside of 50 percent inefficiency right not the cleanest ever right as you can see relative equal lows are still in place i mean are in place but bullish order flow bullish structure is still intact so with the until that is you know essentially invalidated which in my opinion that would probably you know could even be now right um, the last pretty much supporting factor I'd like to see is this if this breaks then you know We could reasonably start to aim for previous equal lows, but the direction hasn't really changed um, Especially because we still want you know that previous liquidity that we mentioned But just even looking at today's closure Right really looks like we could start turning uh, relatively soon, especially for the beginning of next week um, Especially since now we have taken out a previous liquidity point here Right, the liquidity has been swept and a potential internal break of structure could be um, occurring literally right now. So with that being said, that could dictate, you know, a bearish liquidity grab and it could even give us a potential sign of reversal. Um, and that liquidity grab could really change everything because I'm pretty sure we've seen this before. Unless I'm thinking of the wrong pair. Yeah, it's in, like even right here right liquidity grab and then we pretty much had a change of sentiment and that pretty much created the whole pullback for the, you know the previous structural range um and we could easily see the same thing exact except in this situation we have not created a substantial new high all we've done is swept liquidity and given a sign of reversal which will really you know it could even lead to the collapse um and if we even zoom out based on that Let me zoom out more. Right, if we start to see this fail, right, then now the original direction, right, being low to high, solidified point. This is now our solidified low retracement because of the internal break of structure. If we now have a liquidity grab and we start seeing reversal, then the entire trend could begin to change. You see? um however right we are only seeing the short term break now we are only seeing that now um and let me add the because of that we could also see you know a relatively indecisive weekly and the next weekly could even uh give us even more signs for bearishness and then the next week after that we could start seeing a lot of you know downside momentum because there really is a lot of room down here for this to start you know giving us moves to the downside there's a lot of room especially now that we potentially swept liquidity 
Um, right, but however, just remind yourself that that is the reversal bias or the continuation of the overall trend, the super long-term uh, directional bias, right? For now, the medium term is still bullish, right? Especially due to cause here and effect being here. So if we have a strong reaction here, a bullish transition, then, you know, obviously, unless we have another bearish transition here, then it's kind of hard to justify that continuation to the downside, even if you have the bearish liquidity grab. Um, so it's cool to see a liquidity grab on this time frame, just because now I know that internally I will see those transitions. Um, now, whether that gives you an entry or not is, you know, completely um, dependent on the situation, right? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I, I don't want to consider that a wick. Just because it's not enough wick, but I do see what you're saying. I do see what you're saying. Let's see. 50% was tapped twice. So that is not valid to me. Um, Let me see. Do we see something there? Okay. Now let me check something. Hmm. That's something. Ain't that something right there? Yeah, so the entire pretty much bias could really flip. You could say, I don't want to say a strong order flow just yet, just because momentum is still bullish, structure still bullish, internal is still bullish as well. But I mean, that could be something right there. Yeah, it could really be something, especially with last month's closure. This is just sweeping liquidity and giving us downside. Could be something. There's a lot of room. Um but yeah just happy to see that bias completely uh completes you know pretty much its course uh and this is for me in my opinion a really good place to just close all my shorts if i'm being honest i believe my daily target was here and as you can see that has begun to reverse yeah so the bias is, you know, pretty much completed its course. Pretty much our entry from last week. That pretty much concludes that. <clears throat> and I know some of y'all caught this move here. So with this optimism being shown, especially with this being taken, that's very nice to see. Um, because that is pretty much a disruption there. Well, not a disruption of order flow, but just a disruption of direction. Um, now, right, because obviously yesterday, last night, Right, what we did see was a continuation on EU here. And this is pretty much what completed that run on liquidity that we had pretty much mentioned before. Um, so now, realistically, the only thing that makes sense is here. Right, if you even wanna, let me actually do a different color. If you even wanna do a different, even more, right specific that would be your wick of interest and that is pretty much creating the internal pullback right and i say pullback because we have taken up bullish structure so this would be technically picking a high on a scalp time frame but on a minor intraday that is still considered continuation um so now with this if we pick up momentum here right it'll be very interesting because we could either come into a discount or the continuation being here um, I don't want to say I favor longs just yet, but I really like how, right, we really just swept this here. I really like how we just swept this and gave, you know, the bullish uh, continuation BOS on an internal time frame here and here, and this being the final leg down. So, 
technically, you know, that is a shift of momentum. Um, and we could really see something start to develop because of the liquidity run, the target being swept, right? And that's a pretty big target, as you can see, a pretty big target. Um, right, so who's to say we don't, you know, start to reverse here? I mean, I just only want to say that I don't favor it because of where our original direction is, right? But, you know, it really makes sense just from the liquidity grab aspect because that's pretty much what justified our short back up here. Right, was the liquidity grab. Who's to say this bullish move here isn't justified by the internal liquidity grab? Um, but yeah, we'll see. AU, this one I haven't really touched. Um, I believe I noted this on Zoom. Did I? Yeah, I did. I remember this, yeah. We did mention this on Tuesday. I didn't have an alert. My mistake. Um... And as you can see, the POI from Tuesday has pretty much been topped right now. And we're seeing a very bullish closure, very bullish closure. So we could even see a minor little pullback on Monday and a continuation to the upside. Um, but I only want to justify that as a bullish scenario because we have taken up previous structure. And this is technically unwillingness here. Um, and I mean, on this weekly, you could even see. Oh, no, we didn't reach the 50%. All right. But anyways. Right, internally, we are seeing a transition. Right, that was a very fast reaction here. Right, and <clears throat> this is really the only thing here. Um, probably a better time frame, yeah, right here. Yeah, very sloppy. Very sloppy, not that clean but you are seeing the optimism being shown. Do you want to see what happens? Yeah, I do want to see what happens here. This is really looking like a transition to the upside. This one. Okay, this one melted. Huh. Oh, that's annoying. That didn't reach target. That's annoying. Right, so this is pretty much at a very important area right now. All right, this could work. I mean, I did see this. Where did I see this? I saw this on GJ, I think. I saw somebody post this. And I saw this continuation, yeah. Pretty much what we're seeing in GU is what we saw in GJ right here, where we could react, create a new low. Um, right, but this momentum is pretty tough here. So unless we see a sign of reversal, we'll definitely see what happens from here. Hmm. All right, but I'm really just happy that we have this acquired. Once that was acquired, pretty much week is done. Pretty much the only trade this week, just because I had other stuff to worry about. Um, but with that being said, do you guys have any questions? Let me see. Cool. Does, um, let's see. Does anybody have any trades they want to show? Let's see. How many people do we have on call? Twelve. Cool. Does anybody have any trades they want to show? Okay, cool. One minute. Didn't understand one thing. All right, I won't click the link if you said shit. <laughs>
right? This EU cells, we covered this on Tuesday, bro. Did you watch Tuesday Zoom? We covered it pretty much all on Tuesday. Okay, so what are you confused about? Oh, hello. hello. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bro, yeah, I don't understand, understand how did we get, get the entry, entry in this uh, session, like in this Asian session. Uh, Asian session. I was like looking, there was no like clear transitions, transitions or like. There was a clear transition, and I pointed that out, bro. That was the bearish liquidity grab. I mean, I mean in this like empty box, box which I marked, right? Yeah, I I pointed this out on Tuesday. So you, so how do you miss it if you just told me you watched the Zoom? Um, let me see. Yeah, it's right here. It's covered. We covered this on Tuesday. Covered this on Tuesday. Not, not this, bro, not, not this, bro. Uh, it, like, like, it happened, it happened yesterday. yesterday. Oh, well then. Yesterday, yesterday is Asian session. session. Yesterday. Okay, that was here. Oh, yeah, you mean yeah, here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah like, like that. I saw, I saw some people, people took, uh, like, like cells from... from... I was waiting. So I don't know who you're talking about. I didn't, I didn't see that. I was personally waiting for up here. Yeah, yeah I, was I was waiting for... So, that, that, right here? Yeah. yeah. Let's see, let's see. No, I wouldn't see a, a clear transition here. The only clear transition I would see is here. Hold on. There, right? But that is hard to justify. Let me come in here. So internally, right, this right let's say here would be the per the entry per se um it's hard to justify because for one structure is still continuously bullish right low high retracement right solidified high i mean internal break solidified low meaning this is the um meaning this would be the pullback of low high retracement continuation Right, and if you're playing based on liquidity or order flow, the only way that you could justify, you know, an entry here would be the liquidity grab there. Right, but it's still a bit confusing. Right, because let me actually get a square for this. This is in play in terms of bullishness. Right, so if you were really trying to play this, um, I would play it both ways, meaning I would buy here and I would sell shit. Sell here. Yeah, I wouldn't enter that either, if I'm being honest. I would have wanted this liquidity grab up here to then come and take this out. I would have wanted to take that out. Yeah, I would, I would kind of say that's guessing a high. Just because we haven't gotten the sign of bearishness until here, right? Which would be the order flow disruption being here, right? The order flow disruption leading to the continuation here. So if I was wanting to force continuation based on this candle, my SL would have needed to be probably on top of this candle here. And that's a three, two and a half pip range. Yeah. Uh, it, you see it now, right? But in, in, in terms of real time, I probably wouldn't have taken this. And this especially I wouldn't have taken just because I don't like the forced continuations. I like to play premium discount. But yeah, I wouldn't say there was a... 
I don't want to say sophisticated, but a clear entry in my opinion. If anything, the only clear entry here was last night, uh, which would have been this. Right, this would have been the only thing I probably would have played. <laughs> Excuse me. Cool, so does that make sense? Yeah, so... Also, you don't have to worry about that either. Because um, the first thing you said was... Uh, I see some people taking this trade. I'm like, okay, that's fine. Uh, there's a lot of people in the group that take trades that I don't take. That I don't take. Um, and that's just because even though we trade the same things conceptually, right, principally... I mean, principally, I'm sorry. Conceptually, we may not trade them the same, right? Because all, we're, all I show you are rules, and you're the one that's meant to essentially figure out how to use them for yourself. <clears throat> so yeah, I wouldn't be discouraged about that. Just trade what you see. Right, because every day, I promise you, you will see somebody take a trade that you did not take. Almost every day. Right, and it's hard to justify why you should try to essentially chase the trades that they trade. Right, because what if he's a scalper and what if you're an intraday trader? What if he's a scalper and you're a swing trader? What if he's an intraday trader and you're a scalper? You see what I'm saying? Uh, I know I see some other messages that I didn't see. Um, okay, right here. Internal disruption, yes. Internal order flow disruption. Yep. Cool. So I would have acknowledged this. But I also would have acknowledged this. That's just because I I like to play I like to play um, liquidity grabs a lot more than other things. Yeah, this that would have been pretty much what I see there. Would you consider LG? Yes. All right. So realistically, from this perspective, right, technically here is picking a low. Uh, technically, just because all you did was a continuation BOS, right? But that is kind of negated because you have the liquidity grab. So realistically, right, the mitigation play is either right then if you're wanting the trade let's say previous structure being here right with your sl being here right yeah and then that's what i was going to point out secondly which was here order flow play there right and this is i think something more that you would like to play especially because i know you like to trade these uh, continuations where you pretty much structure order flow and the only reason why this is justified is because this break of structure doesn't mean only that you're seeing signs of optimism, but it means that this low is now um, is now solidified and it is unwillingness. So you're you're seeing you know more signs of reversal. So yeah, that one's nice. Um, next picture. Yeah, that's nice. Solid target. Is this the same one? Yeah, it is, right? Yeah, it is. That took a minute, though. Wow. That took easily a day, almost. But yeah, that's very nice. And you can see. I didn't know UCAT likes the... likes its deep retracements. Wick there. I didn't know that. It was based off higher time frame too, so yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, that is 100% going off of higher time frame as well. Uh, because, for example, the character shift is here. Well, let me box that actually. This is the character shift. Why? Because up until this point, up until this point here, you see, right, low momentum. 
potential mitigations with invalidation up here. And this creates the invalidation by taking this out. No, yeah, UCAD's a good pair. But this is so sloppy as a whole. So sloppy. All right, cool. Next. One second. Uh... Okay, let's see. We'll see, we'll see. <gasps> H1SC mitigation, yes. Um, my issue here, bro, is... So you know what I said earlier about uh, EU, where I didn't really want to favor bullishness because of previous momentum? Well, same thing here, previous momentum. I don't want to, I don't want to essentially press against this just yet. Yeah, yeah I, I knew I was going against the, the, the momentum. I just, I just, I just wanted, wanted to get that short term buy, buy for the sell. Because I was looking, looking, if you look at the chart, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, look for sell, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah but I never, I never got, got that. But, and then I, when I reflect on it, it kind of, it makes, it makes more sense, sense that it's also an LG because there's, there's, no there's no real significant yeah. structure from a four, four, four hour perspective or even on one hour, one hour mm -hmm. you know? Because, uh, uh, let me, so what do you, um, what do you use in terms of solidified points? Well, I just, well, I just look for, for uh, sort of sort like, like pretty linear, linear break, break structure. structure. Kind of like, like, like what happened so right, right there where uh, we, saw we saw the info to the upside. upside. Mm -hmm. I didn't mark it up, but I, I, I mm -hmm. have a pretty low DOS, but that's, but that's not, not really what it is. What it is. Um, right, right below, below that, that, I would have considered that, that like, like a pretty linear, pretty yeah. linear. Yeah, yeah, that right there. Mm -hmm. So you know what? So this, you know what this means? What? This means now, right? This is my previous solidified point up here. That means now this is my high. So now internally, right? High, low, high, low, high, low, break, preliminary structure break. That now means that this is my high and this is my range low. So any move to the upside is a pullback. Yeah. Yeah. See what I mean? Yeah. So. Yeah. Let's actually look into here. Maybe there was something in here. I, I actually didn't look at that. Because um, you showed me both. Yeah, let me see. Where was this? H1. Here. Oh, there wasn't even anything nice here. That's pretty annoying. Yeah, I wouldn't even say there was a play for internal, um, an internal continuation. No, yeah. yeah. I mean, the, yeah, yeah. The, only the only thing I saw was on that one hour, so there was really no more on any other time frame. Yeah, so the, the only thing that I could just reflect on here, right, was obviously the structure points that I showed you, the, you know, the preliminary structure break solidifies the range, and this is a turbulence point. Turbulence point one. Turbulence point two. Yeah, when, yeah, I, when I was reflecting like that kind of that's kind of what I was looking yeah. at too. So that makes sense. Yeah, so for sure. I would say only focus on that continuation, especially in terms of um if you're wanting to take, you know, you're obviously taking these H1 trades, why not pursue? Um, for example, this could be your entry, your invalidation being here. Right? That could be your stop. And why not pursue this? You see what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I know exactly what you mean. I think uh, I find myself trying to take these hedge trades a lot, mm -hmm. even though I know I'm going against momentum or, or trend. Um, and it just kind of messes up my, my hit rate, rate, but I know, I know I was, I was just, just looking for more of a premium or more of a discount. Yeah, yeah more of a premium. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, you know what's the what, right? But do you know why? 
You just acknowledge what your problem is, but do you know why? Do you get what I'm asking? Yeah, yeah like, like more, more in the aspect, aspect of like, like within, within my, my emotion, emotion right? right? I wouldn't even say it's an emotion thing. I would just say it's what are you looking for? Not everything is really emotional. <laughs> like, what are you looking for? You know what I'm saying? Like, are you looking for a continuation play? Are you looking for a reversal play? Um, what kind of continuation are you looking for? What kind of reversal are you looking for? Right? It's just the details. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, mm -hmm. so, for example, next time you're looking at a scenario like this, right? First things first, structure above all, right? Is it, am I continuing structure in terms of an, a medium term because that's pretty much what you're trying to play is a medium term or am i forcing something against previous momentum you know and trying to force a reversal so i wouldn't say it's an emotion thing it's just a no i don't i would i, would, I want to put it this way but um i would say it's more of a like getting your shit together type of thing Cause this is the same problem that uh, pretty much everybody in here has right alfie had this problem for months right and so i had to pretty much instill it you know in him well he had to instill it in himself right but i had to point it out yeah that yeah, makes sense because I, I mean october i, I journaled, journaled, journaled on my trade and they were basically all continuation so this is just you know, you know one, one of those things, things where, where Fucking when went against momentum. Yeah, and that's... Sometimes you gotta piss yourself off, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see, next one. Uh, this might be the last one, let me see. He sent three. All right, cool. Oh, cool. It's iPad. iPad setup. I see that. Yeah, nice. Solidified point here. Took out structure. Then here. Took out structure. Solidified low. Solidified high. Um, this took structure. Solidified high. This then took structure. Solidified low. Um, cool. POI met. Yeah, very interesting. Um, I do remember that we noted when was this? Um, is let me see this guy on the call. No, 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 oh, no, Fortunato's no. on the call, right? Do you remember when we mentioned EG a couple weeks ago? Remember that we said we were bearish. I know Fortunato's on the call. All right. Well, while he answers me, uh, I know we were bearish. I believe he made me chart this up a couple weeks ago <laughs> um but yeah i do see what you're seeing um and let me zoom in actually we can zoom in actually we can do this dang we can zoom in more whack no no bro the other image i sent you was um like no, 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 I wanted to show you something too that supports your bias. I wanted to show you this. Um, so just make this easy. Right, so do you see that we took structure there? So this initiates, well, incites, right, bullish momentum, meaning there could be a bullish continuation here, but because that then fails, it even takes out full structure. That's a structural disruption. So that completely supports your bias even more, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, right here. Cool. So what am I seeing? Pretty much not getting the full train. Uh, well, uh, not really the full transition. Well, yeah, you're yeah, getting the full transition. You took out that um, minor, minor intraday leg where, where, where I have the POS. Now, mm -hmm. pretty, pretty much, I'm looking for a POI to. Um, internally yeah so i would say this is your transition your transition is this that's your transition mm -hmm. um now in terms of continuations right the only things that can make sense 
you see one and then you see turbulence point here for order flow potential continuation um, <clears throat> so this would be your order flow continuation this would be pretty much your pretty much reaching for liquidity and you would need a transition here internally um, but yeah I mean I, I agree with the bias now it's just really a matter of waiting to see um, I'll go point to something out though yeah which is that strong weekly that's a strong weekly right there um so i don't wanna so for example a lot of times when i see this um a lot of times the next week's closure will usually take out previous liquidity um and then give you like a bearish closure per se damn that's so ugly and then give another closure to the downside um so i would say still bearish but this is a bit alerting All right how's the volume looking on that oh what the hell Okay, so it's relatively strong. But yeah, this is definitely appealing. But now you touched your open, right? So now it's just a matter of waiting for that. Let me see. Yeah, you do have a break. You could have an LG. This, this could also be um, a bullish LG here bullish LG right the bullish LG is low momentum right so technically internally you are bullish so if you do get a bearish transition then you know that would pretty much support that downside um, but I wouldn't say this would drop just yet unless you get that transition because let me see internally yeah this is internally bullish bullish i mean bullish liquidity grab and then this is now let me actually delete all this all right bullish lg continuation to the upside but yeah i definitely want to see what happens the only issue is also that it's friday and we're about to close up in four hours, five hours. All right, so this is the only thing that makes sense here in terms of order flow continuation. I mean, obviously up here. I wonder what happens. It'll be interesting. Mm. Yeah. So this is annoying right here. Let me see. Yeah, this is annoying right here. Because you had the willingness to want to continue lower and you even continued lower here. But that failed based on this fat bullish candle. So yeah, this is alerting to the downside. But keep in mind, right, the in terms of effort, right, this is really fast. High momentum, but it was really fast. So if you do get a bearish transition, that's how you get a very nice trade. For example, here. Example here. All right, strong momentum, really fast, took liquidity, but you had the transition, and that's how you get the big trades. But now the difference with EG right, is that we technically haven't taken liquidity, but what's even more, um, what's good about this is that it's actually being supported by overall direction because it's already showed a willingness to go higher, right? Because for example, here you see the high momentum, then you see the liquidity be taken, then you see the transition, and then you see the big trade. 
So that, in my opinion, is what's showing the narrative. So now it's just a matter of getting the proper transition here to then get the bigger trade. Alright. Mm -hmm. Cool. My control Z is working. But yeah, right now I would definitely say you need a, another bearish transition. Because all this is is a continuation BOS, which solidifies low to high. But yeah, these big moves will pretty much give you at least two opportunities in my opinion. Yeah, definitely. Cool, so does anybody have any more questions? Any more questions? When Lambo, when not poor. Uh, but yeah, appreciate you guys being on the call, um, and I'll see you guys on Tuesday.